Hey everyone, it's Tracy at T Ray Art Piece. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm just gonna do like a, I guess a warm up. It's been a, a day or so since I haven't really painted too tough. Um, done some varnishing and stuff. So I have not done an open cup pour in a long time. So I thought we'd have some fun together with that. And probably two. Um, so let's get our base going. Just black. This is a 12 by 12. And we're going to be using some greens, maybe a little pink. I might need a little more to get it moving. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do two, just for fun. Um, I do not really use silicone. I have. I do sometimes. But not frequently. A little turquoise. I'm really liking this color. It's the first time I've purchased it. Oh, shoot. It's Amsterdam. Um, <clears throat> Naples yellow green. I like the Naples yellow, and this, I'm sure it's not picking up, but this is a really pretty... Weird. All right, here's a little flash from Folk Art. And we'll finish it up with a little mermaid. Let's see what happens. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring this one up and that one down. See, so just get it moving a little bit. Can lift it up for the color to pop out. There we go. I like spinning it like that. You can move it, however. I was a little concerned that my black may be too thick, but we'll see. All those colors. Oh, 
the second one. I know it's not picking up, but who would have thought putting these colors together? Well, maybe some of you. It's not my one of my go-tos, but it might become one. Still have a lot of paint in there. Oh, how fun. See, I like to let my metallics pick up and give me the cells and that. Just going to stretch it out, work on the composition. Um, right now I'm getting the vibe. It's like something that grows deep, deep in the ocean, but it glows too. Just going to get my sides covered because I want to save as much of the design as I can. And this is um something I do personally if I feel a little stuck or uh, just not knowing what I want to do. I try to go back to one of the beginning techniques. And this real, I mean... I wouldn't say it's a beginner, I guess. Just maybe one of the ones we learn at the beginning. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I get inspired for more paintings when I just start. Wish I maybe would have gotten a little more in the middle, but let's see what we can save. I'm not going over the edge yet. I don't know if the camera's picking up uh, Sophie's snoring, but her little paws are kicking. I think she's having a dream. So, <laughs> to the ambiance of dog snores. Boy, I am writing down these colors after this video. Because how beautiful. Hit that corner. Come on back. Get that one little dot of pink. I wish I would have done a little more because it's just a blob.
gives it a little more interest. This corner. Taking my time because I want to keep. You don't want to move, do you? Slowly. That's a little stuck there, so I'm going to give it some help. Let it come over the edge a little bit. Bring it back. Oh, the shimmer is... You seeing this gorgeousness? <laughs> One more corner. I'll do it so you guys can see it. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm going to call it my glow-in-the-dark deep sea. And off the edge a little bit. <laughs> I really like it. It's <laughs> um, it's different for me, but I can work with it. I'm not. Not really liking where it lightened up. I guess it's a soft shimmer. It might look really pretty when it dries. I don't know if that helped. <laughs> I have this curly cue in the middle. Well, this is why we do a warm up, or I do a warm up, um, before I conquer a bigger canvas or anything. It's just good to practice. So I know I want to use this color combination again. And that Amsterdam yellow green. 
coupled with, I think it's Mermaid, the TLP. Wow. I will do a, a close-up um, to show you guys. But there we go. Let's see. I know this doesn't do it justice. So there's my glow-in-the-dark uh, under-the-sea creatures for a little Monday morning warm-up. I hope you guys have a great week, and you'll be seeing more videos. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Find your peace. Bye. Hey, it's me again with the same painting. You're getting a two-for-one. Um, after I clicked, I'm like, why don't I just do another little traveling cup in the middle? Because this was bothering me. So, I guess today's video will be in two parts. <laughs> I told you that happens to me a lot. Um, if you're not happy with it, keep going. And I think I can improve on it. That's the goal. Color flash. Mm. <laughs> oh, Sophie. And let's finish it off with. Mm, I think I don't think I used this. Maybe I did indigo waves. It's a TLP pigment. All right. Okay, so I want to come down and change what some of this looks like, hopefully. I gotta remember, ah, all right. I'm gonna change direction. A little deep there. Well, it's better than what was there, that's for sure. But now I gotta stretch it out without messing up the rest of the composition, too. I just hit a little canvas there. Went too deep with the cup. All right, let's see if I can save it. Needed something taller in the middle for sure. I don't want to lose my other design. And 
now it's even more wild, but I like it. I just love the shimmer. <laughs> um, so yeah, take two, part two, two part video, I guess, today. Um, I like it. Like I said, I'm not sure of any kind of composition, but it was fun to do a open cup pour again. I think that's as far as she's going to move. I'll torch it. I got this part here. I wonder if I could drag those up a little bit. Let's see. It is all going to shimmer, though. It's full of shimmer. I think I'm going to let it go, guys. Just see what happens. So, <laughs> let me know um, what you think of of this. Show me your warm-up pieces if you want. Um, I'm not going to scrape it, though. The colors are too beautiful. It's, it's really pretty. It's different. And that's all that matters. I had fun and I feel warmed up, ready to roll for the day. I hope you guys have a great day. And um, I mean it this time. See you later. Bye.